Snow Cone Mini One Shot. Thank you everyone for 10k views and it's not even been a month since this book started. Izuku Midoriya walked past several posters hanging on the stone walls and stalls that made him feel like someone stabbed his heart yet his body refused to shut down. Today was the marriage of the Princess Ochako from his village and Prince Bakugo from a nearby one. The two were set up to marry several years ago between their parents. The parents' fathers were good friends and had decided to allow their children to marry each other but didn't even ask their children first. But Izuku had been keeping a secret that if found out he would either be banished from his village or sent to the chopping block. He was in love with the princess. And he didn't want her to get married to someone else. But there was nothing he could do it was already decided for her to marry. With a deep regretful sigh he opened his door to his house that he lived alone in his dad was a knight but was killed in battle when he was just a baby. His mom had died from a disease just two years ago. He had no other family and he was alone with only his garden to tend to he went out back to where his garden was and started to tend to it. As he did his mind slowly thought about the day he first met the princess, asterisk 10 years ago. See Izuku, this garden is what allows us to profit. You must always take care of it so we may eat, said Inko, his mom in their garden. Yes mother, said Izuku. Knock knock, oh looks we have guests. Stay here I will go see who it is, said Inko rubbing her hands on her apron. She went inside and opened the house door to find the king and queen of the village. Hello there Mrs. Midoriya, said the king. Oh goodness me, King Uraraka and Queen Uraraka, said Inko bowing before the royal couple. You may rise. We have heard that you have one of the best gardens in the kingdom and we would be most delighted to see, said the king. Of course, please come inside, said Inko. And we hope you don't mind if we brought our daughter who is the princess, said the queen. Not at all, said Inko. Inko looked behind the royal couple to find a small girl with hair similar to her mother's and blush on her cheeks. When she saw Inko she buried her face into her parents' legs. Ochako honey, it's alright. If you want to be an excellent queen one day you must be brave. Please show yourself, said the king. Ochako slowly came out from her parents while still using one hand to hold on to her mother's leg. She is very cute, said Inko. Thank you. Now about that garden, asked the king. Yes yes please come this way, said Inko walking out their back door and into the giant garden. Amazing. It's absolutely beautiful, said the queen. Please allow me to show you around, said Inko. Story continues below. Yes, Ochako you can wander around for a bit, said the king with his wife following Inko around. Ochako went off in the opposite direction as she looked around at everything growing. Hey, said Izuku appearing out of nowhere. Eek, said Ochako falling down in the dirt. Oh no I'm sorry did I scare you? Asked Izuku running up to her. Ochako looked up at Izuku as he went in front of her. Are you alright? Asked Izuku extending his hand out to her. Quote dot dot dot. Why yes, said Ochako taking his hand allowing him to help her up. I'm sorry about that. I guess I should have tried to be more careful, said Izuku. It's alright. I'm fine, said Ochako. I'm glad. What's your name? Asked Izuku. Ochako. What's yours? Asked Ochako. My name is Izuku, said Izuku extending his hand out with dirt on it. 
Quote dot 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 quote. Ochako was silent as she looked at his dirty hand. What's wrong? Asked Izuku. My parents tell me a princess shouldn't get dirty. Said Ochako. Oh you're a princess. That must be a fun life. Sorry, said Izuku putting his hand down to his side. It can be but lately my parents have been making it very hard on me I have to learn a lot and there isn't much time for me to play, said Ochako. That's a real shame. How about you play with me? Asked Izuku. Okay, agreed Ochako. They walked together around the forest talking when Izuku heard her stomach start to growl in hunger. Oh you're hungry? Asked Izuku. Yes, my parents have a strict food schedule. Always say a princess must stay as skinny as possible. I don't even get any sweets. Said Ochako. Come I think I may have something. Come on. Said Izuku leading the way with Ochako following close behind him eventually leading to a tree. Wait here, said Izuku. He immediately latched onto the tree and climbed to the top and plucked a fruit and climbed back down and held the fruit in front of him. It's an apple. I know it's not a sweet, but it's still pretty good. I even helped my mom grow it, said Izuku with a smile. Ochako thought in her head for a moment before accepting the red shiny apple and taking a small bite out of the side. Her eyes grew wide and she took another bite, this time bigger, and finished it in just two minutes. That was really good, said Ochako smiling. I'm glad. And now we're friends, said Izuku. Friends. I've never had a friend before. I never had the time for it, said Ochako as her smile went to a frown. That's a real shame. You need friends or life will just get to boring. Said Izuku. Am I suppose so then I will gladly be your friend, said Ochako. Story continues below. I'm glad Ochako, said Izuku. Hey what happened over there? Asked Ochako pointing towards a hole in the wall. Oh my mom told me a baby bear had broken in here years ago and hasn't been fixed yet. Said Izuku. Why not? Asked Ochako. Because we're peasants. We're poor. We live in this dirty house with not much, said Izuku looking at his house. I live in a giant castle. It's really nice but lonely, said Ochako. Maybe I can visit someday, said Izuku. I don't know. My parents aren't very fond of visitors. I know. Any free time I have I will come here. Said Ochako. Sounds great to me. Said Izuku smiling alongside his new friend. Ochako. It's time to go. Called out the queen. Coming. Bye Izuku. Said Ochako waving goodbye as she rushed towards her parents. Bye Ochako, said Izuku waving goodbye. From then on every week Ochako would find some way to escape and come to Izuku through the small hole. They often went back out and went deep into the woods as to not get caught by Inko or anyone else and always just run or do whatever they wanted to. However years passed and Ochako's visits became shorter. Weeks turned into two weeks. Two weeks turned into months. And now he hadn't seen her for a half year. Back to the present, Izuku sighed to himself as he placed several seeds into the dirt. However as he did he heard some strange noises coming near his fence. Specifically near the hole, his first instinct told him to run, but instead he grabbed a garden tool and slowly approached me hole. I is someone there, called out Izuku. He dropped his tool as he saw the familiar face of Princess Ochako in the hole. Hey Izuku, said Ochako. Pete Princess Ochako, what are you doing here? 
asked Izuku. He watched Ochako disappear and that he saw her jumping right over the fence landing right in front of him. First off I told you a long time ago to not use princess in my name. Second of all I came to see you silly, said Ochako. But your marriage, you're supposed to marry Prince Bakugo today, said Izuku. Marry that ogre, I'd rather marry a dead horse. At least it knows when to shut up, said Ochako with her arms crossed. Well I'm glad you see you but won't your parents send people to find you, asked Izuku. They won't because we're going to run away together, said Ochako. Huh, we, asked Izuku. Yes of course, I'm not going alone, said Ochako. I I can't do that Ochako. You're supposed to marry the prince and become a queen, said Izuku. Yes I know, but I've been thinking and honestly, I don't want to be a queen, I don't want to marry that prince, and I don't want to be separated from you Izuku, said Ochako. M me, asked Izuku pointing at himself. Yes you Izuku, because I love you, said Ochako. H huh, B but I'm just a peasant, said Izuku blushing, I don't care, I love you. And I don't want to marry anyone else. So please run away with me Izuku, said Ochako getting close to Izuku. Ochako, I, I love you too. I've honestly felt miserable the moment I found out you were going to wed with somebody else, said Izuku. I know, said Ochako pressing her lips against his for a quick kiss. Now let's run away. Together, said Ochako. B but won't they come after us? Asked Izuku. Nope, said Ochako. She took out a knife and immediately started to cut her hair making it extremely short. How do I look? Asked Ochako. Different, and yet so beautiful, said Izuku. Thank you Izuku. If I only I could do something about these clothes, said Ochako. I may have an idea wait here, said Izuku. He went inside his house and a few minutes later he came outside with a box. Here out this on, said Izuku shoving the box into her hands. Ochako opened the box to find Izuku's mom's old worn out clothes. I is this really okay? Asked Ochako. Of course, my mom would want me to be happy. I'll just look that way. Said Izuku turning around so Ochako could undress and redress. How is this? Asked Ochako. Izuku turned around to see her in his mom's old dress with her new haircut. Beautiful, said Izuku blushing M. Thank you Izuku, said Ochako blushing as well. They leaned in front and a kiss but stopped when they heard the village bells. Looks like they realized. Let's go far away, said Ochako grabbing Izuku's dirty hand. They both went into the woods, never to be seen from the village again. It's almost 2am and I'm finally done writing. New reading